we create a simple room here with a polygonal cube and we uniformly scale it larger and uh, we place this cube on the grid and we freeze our transformations of this, this cube. Press 5 for the shared mode and uh, drag your camera and enter your yourself into the room. Here is our room. <coughs> we need to delete some of the faces of this room because we need only an illusion for we start uh, we'll start our lesson with only two walls and one floor here we need to create some other objects just like a table so we hide for the some time this room and now we create top of the table with polygonal cube again and we scale it uniformly but uh, we shrink this cube in this way and we suppose that <coughs> this is the top of our table uh, here we select the edges and select the, the sequence of edges of our cube and we bevel these edges and in this way we have the top of our table with the four legs so we need to draw in front view a curve with the CV curve tool and uh, with the uh, grid snap grid <coughs> option on <coughs> here 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 and in this way we draw a curve and uh, we get the control CVs control vertices in this way and now we move to the perspective view and we select our curve and we revolve this curve sorry we revolve this curve not loft revolve this curve in this way and then we delete uh, all by type of histories and also profile curve we turn off the snap grid and uh, uniformly invert scale the leg of our table and we attach this leg and then we copy with the control D <coughs> and now we can see in front in side view and in top in top view we place two of the legs here and we select our table legs and then again we duplicate both of the legs and change their position now here is our table in perspective view we have a beautiful table we show our last hidden object here is our last hidden object room but we need to group the parts of our table this time we again hide the room and select our parts of the table and we press the control G for the grouping and we center our pivot and again we show our last hidden object room then move the table upwards and place it on the floor 
of the room and uh, in this way we have a table and a room but we uh, have no lights and we have no other objects so here we need a table lamp for this table and for the experiment of light so we hide both of the objects table and room once again and now we create the table lamp we model our table lamp with the help uh, with the tool polygonal cylinder uh, we, with the primitives poly polygonal cylinder we scale it in y axis and uh, we place this uh, cylinder and uniformly scale it again and place it uh, on our grid and uh, we need to move it again upwards and now we need to duplicate this cylinder once and uh, we place this cylinder over the first created cylinder and here we change the pivot point of upper cylinder uh, at the bottom of the cylinder with pressing by pressing the insert key and we place the pivot and press again insert key and uh, here we can rotate the cylinder uh, from channel box we can rotate the cylinder in the directions we choose the x direction x minus direction and uh, here we add a sphere NURBS sphere in our cylinder for as a ball which is a just like that a moving place and uh, we rotate it uh, we rotate this uh, in x axis for the polling and uh, <coughs> now we have a good look of our one arm table lamp in this way now we need to add the base made by polygonal cube sorry we create a polygonal cube primitive and scale it uniformly and then shrink this in y axis minus and again scale this in other directions other axis so in this way we can chamfer again our we can bevel again our edges of this foundation uh, we can bevel these and now we select our beveled cube and press ctrl D for the duplication and we duplicate another polygonal cube here and then we scale this cube in this way so this is the foundation of our <coughs> table lamp <coughs> but still we are no noticing that our rods are bigger than the real world element so we center pivot